Welcome to Refi 2020 Studio Essential Training. In this program, we are going to talk of how to open the first project in Refi 2023. This is a new feature, more different from the previous ones. This is home of Revit. Immediately, you open your app on the desktop. This is home. This is what you are going to see the recent file which are located here. So you have opportunity and chances to move around if you have any existing file on your W4 board. There's just some predefined that used to come. Now, if you have an existing model, you can click on this to open it. If you want to create new, you click on new to create. If you want to create family and things like that. So for you to learn more in Autodesk document, you can click on any of this one. If you have internet, most of them will work on free online, while some are not going to work while you are there. But let me just introduce you to some of the things that are more common. If you want to create family, you create family. This is simple architectural family like here. Something like this you can perform and create. This is a customized wall being detailed. This is trusses of uh, for roofs. So this some of the design are done already. It's here. So I just want to take you a little bit further to know how the thing works. So if you if you're this your if you want to open an existing drawing and you don't have it here, you come to this place and click. This will take you to a open window, then you can select and search for where the design are. Like this one, this is one design that I did that time. This is another one and things like that. So, but you are not going to go there now. So if you want to click on new, you click on new one. Now, the beauty of this one is that if you download the prop, if you download it properly, you are going to see uh, from the template file, you will see a lot of predefined templates for construction. Imperial, Imperial architectural templates, Imperial structure, Imperial system templates. All this functioning for Revit because some are using it for structural drawing, mechanical drawing. It's not only architecture that use Revit. So, if you want to use symmetry, but the two, two units that are more common are Imperial units, which are in feet and inches, and metric units, which are in centimeter, millimeter, and meters. So that is it. Then I have my own customized template which I have that I always use. So this is it. But if you don't have want to create one for yourself, you can do the same thing by creating it. So but let us use one of these things and let me use it to open it. Let us use none and let it be open for us. It asks a question imperial or metric. Let us use metric. So allow it to load. So the moment you have it, you have just a plain, a plain uh, workspace. Yeah, nothing is there. So you have your project browser. In this project browser, it does not matter if you did not have it on. If you open it and you did not get it, that's why I've closed it like that. So where can I get it? Only what you just need to do is to go to view. From your view, you switch. You see it's a switch window or user interface. On your user interface, this is it. This is everything you have to get from it. So click on the project browser. It comes back to the place it's supposed to be. So that is it. Now let me just explain something for you here before we go further. This is Siri. One, please. In this video, kindly click subscribe so that you subscribe to our channel. Subscribe on like and please share among people. So this is architecture in a title a menu bar. Architecture has so many other things on it that we are going to use in the series. So we have wall, window, the components. Most of all these things are most of them come with predefined uh predefined measure. So if you click on them, they work on you, but you are not going to work on this place because you have never said something credible for us to work and this one is talking of uh, like structural plan so you can decide to change it to your own taste and just change it to normal level 
so another one structure structure contains some its own element as well so you just click on it and you continue seeing what you the average person are seeing so that is it now you can from here maybe you don't want something like this so you can from here look for more projects so these are existing projects that are already available so let me just like let me open it for you that it's not you, you may not decide to click a new project here which will give you this one exactly or you decide to say okay you want to see an existing uh, building so like this one click on what click on into bc so allow it to load the moment you have it this is in the bc so go to 3d and go and see what in the bc represents this is one so let us go to view allow it to load just wait allow it to to load it because it's, the graphics are heavy is using a so this is in the bc a little bit of design that i did for a client of mine so you can see i've arranged some of this how most of them work and look at it this is the rendering aspect of which i use so these are the, you see the elevation the way it's been programmed here so i did some of these things to represent a good image so that is it so we have uh, like this page block plan that's the right side you see front elevation things like that so i arrange the sheets and everything so in this series we're going to touch about almost most of this most of the things that are existing on this uh, platform so that this the the whole tutorial will be meaningful so kindly please click subscribe and like our design like our our video then share it so that we encourage us to do more so from the next one we are going to teach more about so continue please share share with people share with uh, the like minds